Today we open up this giant Pokemon tin full of goodies and it's not fake at all. And then we're going to open up the replica set from Yo Nagapa to find out if these replica reprints will fool you. So let's get opening up this giant fake Pokemon tin. Let's get looking at this replica set and let's find out how bad they really look. Welcome back my Chase family fellow card chaser here, Pokehan, and here we have a giant Astral Radiance tin. Now we've opened tins up like this before on the channel, and they're pretty bad. Some of them aren't too bad, so we know what to expect on the inside, but I saw it floating around a shop, so I thought this is, this is, this is fake. I have to buy this. I have to do a video, and also we've got ourselves the uh, Yo Nagapa reprinted set i'm probably butchering that name so i apologize now it's the whole entire set of the promo cards the charizard the evs the pikachu things like that remember if you like this kind of video subscribe help evolve this channel only 10 percent of you and under that are subscribed watch my content helps a lot so subscribe help evolve this channel let's get opening up this giant tin and let's check out the uh promo cards while we're at it now if I can open up the tin. There we go. Normally I have scissors, but I didn't bring them. We run a tight ship here in the spare room. All right. Oh no, they just came bursting open. All right. Let me put it back. There we go. Fantastic. What do we got in here? We got ourselves a deck brick here of what I can assume will be really badly faded Pokemon cards. All right, that's not too bad. Right, I'm intrigued now. All right, we've got some loose ones here. We've got some loose cards. A cast form, you know, like the balls on the head, not too bad. Do they have an incline of the balls on the head? Let's find out. Ah, nice, it's just a sticker. What do we got here? Kingdra, there we go. We've got ourselves some fake packs here. What kind of fake packs are we looking at? We've got Silver Tempest, Silver Tempest, two more Silver Tempests, an Astral Radiance tin, go figure. All right, Paddy Sect and Pidgeot. Oh, what's this? Is this this not even? Yeah, that's, that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad. There's nothing else in there. No, nah, nothing else in there. That's all good. That's all right. Let's put this up here. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Put your lunch in it. Look like an idiot. Now, obviously, we'll open this up towards the end of the video. Probably about halfway through, something like that. You know, let's let's open up these packs first. Let's find out we're after here with the Silver Tempest. Now, I'm pretty sure I did a fake booster box of this set. I tried to do fake, fake booster boxes of every set, so I'm pretty sure I did. Now, how are we going to go with the pack trick? Straight into it, fair enough. Darkrai V-Star, that looks... Whoa! That looks really bad. That is absolutely bad. You know what? Subscribe if you agree that looks bad. Now, that's really bad. Bit darker than other sets. All right, we're going to... Yep, hugging the Charizard there. Doesn't look too bad, but still, Gudra V Star. All right, I see what we've got in here. This is just this is just non-stop. What is that? Where did that go? All right, Rotom Scrotum, Darkrai, Aerodactyl V. Not even shiny or hollow, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's go straight into the second pack because oh, this is gonna be good. All right, Pikachu V. All right, Dugon having a bong. What have we got here? Another one. Clefable. And that thing. How much is to grab that? What is going on there? What happened to that part? Well, there is, what is going on here? How am I supposed to open that? that, that the tag is gone. It's like it's been through the ringer. All right, Aerodactyl V-Star. You look like you've been through the ringer too. You look horrible. All right. All right. Imagine walking under that guy's crutch. Good God. All right. So, these fake cards. Whoa. All right. God, so I've opened up the newer sets. Uh, what was the other one I did? The, um... Tempest Crown, Crown Tempest, something like that. What have I got here? Stellar Crown, that's it. What was I thinking? Stellar Crown, and that looked way better than this. There's a choir. We finally get a representation of our country, and it's a bloody sleeping koala. All right, so it does nothing but play the drums because it's bloody high. All right, Crobat. 
Right, we will open up one brick of these and then we'll check out some of these and find out, you know what? Do they look good? Can I open up this pack here? There we go. Keep thinking I'm not gonna be able to open it because there's nowhere to really grab. Now, that doesn't look too bad. Alright, I'll give you that. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a big deck, isn't it? Alright. Um Okay, I'll go around this side then. Alright. So far, nothing really screams out fantastic. But I guess, you know, building a proxy deck, just having fun. Even like, you know, I've seen those coffee tables that have like all these fake cards that look cool and they laminate the coffee table. I put resin over the top of it, something like that. So you got these cool cards. They do it with the old school sets and things like that, all the favorite cards for like a poker table or something. That, that That's really cool. I'll give you that. That's a really cool idea. All right. Licky tongue. Hopefully I removed the mic then, I didn't mess up the audio. I did two videos where I opened up Pokemon Tarzos and um, a fake booster box of an older set. I might release them, I might not because, we'll open up one more and we'll do this. Might release it, I might not because the audio wasn't really there, it was kind of crap and I'm just sick of the mic always, you know, just not being where I want it to be. All right, we got ourselves Pidgeot. All right, we're going back to this side then. Parasect, Magnazone, back to this side. Gengar. All right, doesn't know whether it's coming or going, if it's asked backwards or what. All right, so let's have a look here. So far, these are kind of the same cards, I guess. You know, I'm kind of seeing a pattern here. That these are just like fillers, aren't they? All right, nothing too special. Don't even know what set half of these are from, because there's so many cards and they're just mixing together. All right, that's just bloody horrible. Right. Let us start. This is what I'm excited for. Because it's supposed to be like a faithful like reprint of the set. So we'll do about half, and then we'll check out the other half afterwards. All right, let us have a look here. We've got ourselves the beautiful Charizard there. That looks fantastic. That's a really cool replica there. You could even You could even easily say that that looks like the real one. Because I'm pretty sure it's just, you know, reverse hollow style. But that's a really nice Charizard there. Alright, we've got ourselves Eevee there looking like a caveman. Oh, he looks grumpy there. It's pretty cool. It's a simplistic, like, sketch artwork of it. It's really cool. And oh my god, he looks dopey as hell, doesn't he? Alright, Vaporeon there. Cool that they went with the blue background for Vaporeon. It makes sense. Just like with Jolty on there. It's a really nice replica cards. Definitely, I, I don't know, don't want to sleeve these and just put them in a folder, you know, just, just to, you know, I know they're fake and things like that, but just kind of cool just to have something like that. It's about 30 or 40 bucks a booster pack, something like that. And I'm pretty sure it's about, I could be wrong, but when I Googled it, it was like three to 400 bucks for the complete set. Obviously, we've got ourselves the Japanese style background there. That's a really cool card. All right, Espeon, we've got more to go through, but first, let us do these last two bricks, and then we'll check out the other cards there. That's a pretty cool little collection set there. All right. So they say there's like 10 cards to the set. I assume this EV Illusions include Charizard and Pikachu. Some people have completed the set. Like, I didn't know really much about it. And like obviously you got all these promo cards, like you get all different like Pokemon Center in Japan, they have like different promo cards just for that Pokemon Center and just for that part of town. So that'd be pretty cool to kind of collect, but god damn, they change it every year and they get so expensive. Those promo cards. Like I've got so far I've got the entire promo collection of um the E B games. Oh that's pretty cool. The E B games promo cards that they did over the past few years. Like you have to like do, you have to pre-order a certain game and you'll get the promo card or pre-order a certain set and they give you a promo card with their EB game stamp on there, which is our version of like GameStop, I guess over here in Australia. You know, it's pretty cool and all that stuff. I've got some GameStop ones as well. Just little things like that are pretty cool. All right. We've got ourselves at Lilligant V and then like I checked out um that Costco for Pokemon stuff and it's, just, uh, it's no good. It's like, oh, I hear these two tins from you know, that you can get anywhere, and it's like, super expensive, it's not cheap at all, alright, Costco, you lying bastards, alright, what do we got here, we got some Charizard again, alright, so we're, sorry. so we kind of get an idea with this pack, but this is just pretty much, 
the same stuff, but wrapped in a different kind of plastic. All right. Let us look at the final cards here. Remember, if you like this kind of channel, subscribe, help evolve this channel. Every single little bit helps. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these Yo Nagaba cards. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Yo Nagaba, Yo Nagaba, something like that. Got us a flurry on there. That looks really cool. I like the little, the simplistic stuff. That looks like a cheeky Umbreon there. That's a fantastic looking card. Look at that. Pretty cool Umbreon. All right, Leafy on there. Looks like he's got some attitude there. Or he looks like he doesn't know where he is because his IQ is, you know, lower than a peanut. All right, Glacy on there. Nice, nice card there. We are down to the final card. What are we ending it on? We're ending it on... Oh, no, we've got two more. Sorry, what am I thinking? All right, there we go. Not bad. All right, what are we ending it on now? There we go. Caveman, Angry Pikachu. Look at that. That is a fantastic card. Cool little collection there of these promo cards. Not bad, not bad. Would these cards fool you? Do these cards look real? Would you collect these and sleeve them because they look almost like the real thing? Let me know in the comments below. Till next time, I'll see you in the next chase. Mm -hmm.